you're a homebody like me, I think it's so important to be surrounded by things that inspire you, cause you to be curious, and most of all, make you feel comfortable. Hi, I'm Christopher Noto. I'm an interior designer and the co-owner of the furniture brand Alain Atelier. Welcome to my home in Greenwich Village. I treat my home as my design laboratory. It's where I see pieces from our collection in situ. It's always good to see things in place because it gives you ideas and inspiration. Let's take a look. Here in the entryway, I established the aesthetic of the apartment by restoring the original details of the pre-war building. I like to have a sense of place in all of my projects and this is a very New York vibe, having exposed brick walls. And this wall runs from the foyer all the way through the rest of the apartment. I use this front room as a library, study, guest room, dining room. I like to mix vintage and new pieces. I think that always adds interest to a space. For example, I have these vintage Italian 1960s chairs mixed with our Ella table, which is a cast bronze piece. This is a beautiful Italian vintage fixture which casts a lovely butterfly effect across the ceiling and walls. This lithograph is one of the first memories I have growing up in Los Angeles and it turns out that the address on the lithograph is the address of my current home in Paris which I would love to show you at some point. I consider myself lucky because I have two wood-burning fireplaces in New York City, which I painted the same peacock blue as the rest of the room, but I made it stand out with a semi-gloss finish. I wanted to create more open space and room for a dining area, so I enlarged this opening to allow for a better flow. This is the heart of the home, both geographically and metaphorically. It's where the kitchen and the main living space is located. This is a particularly long room, and the way I addressed that was to enlarge the kitchen island, and then also I put a large piece of furniture here, this vintage French desk, the result of these two elements creates a square in this long rectangular space that feels more comfortable and visually pleasing. This fixture is an amazing uh, chandelier which I designed. The chandelier is inspired by an atom, so the nucleus is hanging in the center and then you see the trajectory where the electrons run around. I couldn't find any fixtures on the market that were particularly elongated in this way. And if you can't find it, design it. I could have put the bedroom in the front, but I like this very quiet, calm space back here. There's a very serene feeling, and I think that's important in any bedroom. I have some lovely sculptural elements, such as these cast bronze sconces, which are part of our collection. The carpet is a piece I had custom made here in New York for the space, and it just adds a texture and a comfortable feel underfoot. This table used to be my dining table, in fact, and it was designed by Paul McCobb, who was a mid-century furniture designer, and it works beautifully as a desk. I like to have unexpected things that become points of interest in any space. For example, the rhinoceros on the fireplace mantle is part of our collection, and the antlers are actually something I'm working on right now. I'd like to figure out how to make that into a fire screen and not a fire hazard. I believe a home should be your refuge and a space where you're extremely comfortable, but also a place where you feel free to experiment and be creative and create your own sanctuary. So thank you for visiting my sanctuary and I'll see you in the next project. Well, that was so much fun, but the fun doesn't have to end here. Like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for the best open house has to offer.